So I got a really good video idea from Keith. And all I could think was, I'm gonna have some fun filming this video because back when I was playing ball, all I focused on was hands. Because my nickname in high school <laughs> was Stone Hands. What was you guys used to call me E4 or some shit? <laughs> yeah, so then ever since then, I became obsessed with cleaning the hands up. And now my hands are clean. Uh, and I want to help you guys do the same thing. So buckle up, because there's going to be a lot of details. So much details about two hands. Let's get started. We're going to break it down into three things. When do you deflect it? When do you transfer it? And when do you throw it? Because it ain't about just getting it in your hand. We're trying to get it as game speed as we can so we can make that throw because every time you guys play catch, that right there is an opportunity to turn your partner's throw into a rep, into a chance to get better. Before we get into when we should deflect, let's talk about what a deflect is. Now, a deflect is basically guiding the ball to another direction. The direction we're deflecting the ball is toward our hand. Now, we're going to try to think of this arm as the knockout punch and we want to get it ready as much as we can we don't want it just chilling right we're trying to get this ready right here so when i get this deflect boom i can get it now there's some drills we can do for that the first drill you can do right here is going to be the deflect drop you're going to get your throwing hand out of the equation because i really want you to find this spot in your glove that you want to hit but the whole objective is to find that kill spot and kind of touch it very lightly in a downward angle, almost like if this is a clock. We're trying to go 10 to four, so this arm is ready to go. So that's where we're deflecting it towards. We're deflecting it almost down towards our right foot. Once you guys do a few of those, you can graduate to the next level. And that next level is gonna be drop and catch. All right, you're gonna catch this ball, but once you get better, you're gonna start turning this palm ball into the grip that you want. Now, when do we deflect it? We deflect it when we get our footwork involved. The timing of the deflection is important once you get the footwork involved. The footwork is going to be timing the left foot with the throw. Let's get into this drill. This drill is called the flamingo. All I want to do is be on a on one leg, my right leg, and I'm trying to time it. By the time you transfer, your toe should be landed, and you should be ready to throw. Let's talk about when you should transfer. You should transfer it once this right foot comes down. There's a part two for this footwork pattern, and it's going to be the cycle kick. You're going to try to time this cycle so that when your right leg drops, you're already transferring the ball. It's already going into your hand in a flowy motion. Good reps only. Good reps only. Now, when you throw it, my personal favorite, I like to add a lean. Because here, once I'm here in this position, I like to have this lean keep my arm back so I can just throw it from there if I need to make a strong throw. Otherwise, I'm just Robinson canoeing it. It just all depends on the situation. So practice both. This is a good time to let your athlete use the sidearm because this isn't like a long toss where he's throwing 300 feet with bad form. This is a quick 90 foot throw, maybe 60 foot throw for little leaguers. And that right there is just developing an instinct to get an out. Let's, let's keep that instinct, train that instinct to get the out, even if it means throwing it from a quicker arm slot because that's where arm versatility comes in. If you don't know what arm versatility is, we have a video that we made on uh, arm versatility and just being a good shortstop, a good infielder. And you can find that video right here watch this after you watch this video i'm gonna leave a link in the description below so let's go bars the entire time uh, my glove side was back but my glove was still forward almost right adjacent to my right shoulder only because i want this to train you guys to let the ball get deep but not too deep so that your eyes are in front of the ball. You still want to make sure your eyes are behind the ball and then you got to trust your hands and know that you ain't going to get popped in the face because your hands are too clean. So pro tip guys, if you guys want the quickest hands possible without hurting yourself or hurting your hands, if you're catching without the glove, it's almost like you're letting it go right through this L and right to your face. Ask your parents for permission before you hit yourself in the face. Don't do that, I'm kidding, don't do that. So yes, essentially if somebody this happens to me all the time. I'm, I'm barehanded, somebody flips a ball to me, I miss it because I'm trying to catch it right in this area. Now with your glove, that's called what Kai Carrera, the uh, San Francisco Giants infield coach, he's an infield specialist, he's a guru. I learned a lot from him. That's what he refers to as the kill spot. And we're gonna keep it right there. The kill spot is right here. As you can see, it's nowhere near my finger. So on a cold day like this, I can still make plays. I can't see it, bro. Morgan, slow down. This is a white background. Okay. <laughs> oh, easy one. So, guys, I want you guys to have the quickest hands imaginable. 
keep in mind that your hands are as quick as you want them to be. So the more you work on this, like I said, playing catch, it's a perfect opportunity to get as many as these in as you can. So make sure you guys are doing that. Here's a playlist right here. Everything you need to know about them hands. Get them hands filthy clean. Guys, if you guys watch this far and you learn something new, hit that like button. For the YouTube algorithm, it helps your boy out. Also, hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified because we drop videos weekly. Yes, plural. All dedicated make you a better athlete on the diamond and a better person in life. So, that being said, let's get to work. Because you already know what time it is, right? Time is now.